reality. Hi, I'm Derek at Reality, and today we're demonstrating the Pegasus 2 Ultimate from Leica Geosystems. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to use the Pegasus 2 Ultimate to scan a typical urban area with a combination of roadways and highways. The Pegasus 2 is Leica's engineering grade heavy duty ultimate mobile mapping solution. As opposed to terrestrial scanners, this unit gathers data while in motion, enabling you to scan large areas at high speeds. For railways, highways, marine applications, etc. This is the ultimate solution for all your measurement needs. There are two primary components to the scanner. The sensor unit, which sits on top of your vehicle, and the battery module, which stays inside your vehicle. Our first step is to get the scanner out of its carrying case and mount it on the roof. Using the fasteners and tools provided, we secure the scanner to our vehicle of choice. You'll notice that the system can rotate and lock into positions at 0, 30, or 60 degrees in both directions. As you can see, the Pegasus 2 Ultimate has light sensors on both sides. We use these to adjust the exposure of the four 12 megapixel side cameras and the amazing Leica developed 24 megapixel stitchless 360 degree camera on top. This camera is made up of two 195 degree super fisheye lenses that together produce seamless 360 degree images, which are also used to perfectly colorize the point cloud produced by the scanning profiler which in this case is the ZNF 9012. There are options for adding a second ZNF profiler or also replacing the profiler with a P-series scanner or a Velodyne scanner. We call this one Pegasus Swift. The ZNF 9012 profiler operates at varying speeds of 100 Hz, 150 Hz or 200 Hz with a collection speed of 1 million points per second and a range that is sufficient for capturing everything within your scene. On the top of the system, we also find a triple band all constellation Novatel Pro Pack 6 global GNSS GPS positioning antenna. We'll use the data coming from this antenna along with the other sensors and a GPS base station or the SmartNet network to post process our trajectory. You may want to add a second one of these GNSS antennas to your vehicle for better positioning. This is particularly useful for rail and marine applications. Another sensor that you find in this mobile mapping system is the 200Hz tactical grade IMAR SPAN IMU. This revolutionary piece of technology allows the system to maintain reliable and stable positioning data even when satellite signals are temporarily blocked through a combination of GPS data and measurements from the inertial measurement unit and gyro sensors. It's also possible to connect a DMI sensor that goes on your wheel to help with positioning in areas of low or no GPS coverage like busy cities with tall buildings, tree covered areas or tunnels. On the back side of the system, you can see multiple ports for plugging in other sensors such as the multi-directional single or dual camera systems available as optional accessories from Leica Geosystems, as well as other accessories that will share position with the system. There's a USB port to download your data from the integrated PC, but better yet, there's an integrated removable hard drive bay so you can collect or copy your projects in a faster way onto this hard drive and then take it out once you are done and ready to pack up. Now we are ready to connect the scanner to the battery pack using the power and data cable. This cable has latches to ensure it remains firmly connected at both ends. On the battery compartment, You'll find Wi-Fi and Ethernet for us to connect to with a laptop to remote into the integrated computer in the Pegasus. To control the Pegasus, we'll be using an application called MDA. This software will allow us to start a new project, view the current state of the various sensors like the camera, LiDAR, GPS, and IMU, as well as trigger certain functions that are useful during collection like start, stop, pause, and end recording, adjust white balance on the cameras, change the frame distance of the image acquisition, etc. When we hit activate, we're given the opportunity to name our project. At the beginning of a mission, we want to have a five minute static session for the GNSS antenna to lock in a good starting position. We'll want to do this at the end as well. 
We also want to do a five to 10 minute dynamic session where we will train the IMU for the current job type, meaning that we want to get it used to the type of movements it will see during the actual capture. Once this is done, we are ready to start recording. Once you have the scanner completely set up, data acquisition is quite simple. It's just a matter of driving the route you've planned to collect the data you need. Be sure to keep in mind obstacles or blind spots in your route planning so that you can be sure you've gotten a complete data set during your scan. As we're recording, you can see the data capture live. That is imagery, LiDAR, and position or trajectory. You can use this live capture capability to adjust your route based on unpredictable factors like traffic that could interfere with your data capture. Once we are done capturing our project, we will stop recording images and scan data, and also stop the scanner from spinning since we are done for the day. At this point, we are still recording position information from the GPS. We will close out our dynamic and static sessions and end our project. We will deactivate and then press download to make sure we download all our project data from the GNSS, the IMU, and the DMI, as well as the onboard laser scanner. This is where we can use the removable hard drive or plug in a USB drive to start working with the data. When we're finished scanning and have returned to the office, getting our point cloud data into our computers is as easy as taking out the removable hard drive from the Pegasus 2 Ultimate and plugging it in with a USB cord. We'll now be able to see our project in its entirety when we load the data into Pegasus Manager. During post-processing, Pegasus Manager can analyze the data from each pass, comparing them to create the best solution possible with all the information it has from the various sensors that were used during collection. If you've set up any targets or chevrons along your way, this software will use these visual anchors to improve the point cloud's accuracy. Once the processing is done, we can export the point cloud to be used in any software downstream, whether that is Pegasus mobile mapping specific software like Map Factory, Rail Factory, or Road Factory, or traditional terrestrial point cloud software like Cyclone, Cloudworks, 3DR, and TrueView, or any other third party software that can read point clouds. We look at Pegasus Manager and other software options in other videos. With the Pegasus 2 Ultimate, we are able to capture engineering level accuracy data of huge areas quickly. The extensive capture, processing, and post-processing performed by the combination of the Pegasus hardware and software solutions position Leica at the forefront of the mobile mapping market and puts you in position for success and dominance in your market. Check out the notes below for more details and be sure to follow us on social media to keep up to date on everything reality capture.